Hi there folks, today we're checking out the Basius Simu S1. Let's do this. Hi there folks and welcome back to Novum Verum. Here we have the Basius Simu S1 true wireless earphones and these buds are active noise cancelling so we will check that out later. Um, I'm not familiar with this brand but uh, it popped up while I was doing my usual uh, shopping search on Amazon and AliExpress and I don't know how many other windows I had open <laughs> but um, yeah so this popped up thought I'd check it out. Um, now this packaging looks very very personalized. Um, it's not a generic product that a company slapped their brand on but um, we've seen some pretty good packaging before from no-name brands or rather um, generic products. So Super excited to see what this thing can do. Um, so let's go ahead and crack her open, shall we? <laughs> I'm impressed by this packaging. This is great. Um, what else we got in there? Something else there. Uh, I think that's it. Alrighty, what do we got here? We got some funny looking stickers of an anime style lion, I would guess. Um, this is warranty card. Manual. And I guess this is just a uh, how to fit your earbuds properly. That's cool. Huh. Interesting. Nice little touch. Um, alrighty, so first I'm gonna have to take this out. Or maybe not. <laughs> Cam in. There we go. And it tells you exactly what's in there. Earbuds and charging cable. Cool. The usual two different size pairs of earbud tips and a USB Type C charging cable. I feel like I have a hundred of those now and about 200 pairs of those. <laughs> Awesome, let's set that aside. Now why does it say pull? Oh, oh well that's kind of silly, I guess. Oh, that's nice. So it's cardstock on very stiff foam. I like it when a brand puts in effort into their packaging. Um, so, oh, I guess this I can just slide on out. Case. 
There's a bit of heft to it, even though it's very, very small. Oh, that's interesting. That feels like a metal hinge, like separate, completely separate from the plastic case itself. Down here we have Made in China, product, model number, all that good stuff. Um, and smack dab in the middle is the type C charging port. I'll go there. I'm really surprised that like I, I've been sliding my fingers on this. It like you know it does leave some streaks, but my fingerprint isn't staying on there for some reason, which is pretty cool. Um, I don't know if you guys can see that, but there is a button here, which is, I'm guessing, the reset button. And that's, there's an LED light there. Ah, I wish this hinge that they put such effort into and made it a metal piece uh, would lock open, but... Uh, it doesn't. That's all right. It does. I don't know if you guys can tell there, but it does lean back further. So when you do flip it open and keep it vertical, it will stay open on its own just because of physics. But I would prefer that it would lock open. Um, but alrighty. Here we have. Earbuds, right side, left side, awesome, oh, charging contacts are right at the bottom here, usually I always see them like in and around here sometimes anyways, um, but there you have it, the Basius Simu S1. I'm gonna go ahead, charge her up, connect it to my phone, and we'll take it for a test drive. Give me a moment, folks. I'll be right back. Thanks. All right, folks. Here we are doing the audio test for the Bassius Simu S1s, which I have on. As you can see, um, Went for a bit of a run, um, but uh, something came up and I had to uh, cut it short. Um, pretty disappointed. <laughs> I'll tell you more uh, once I step outside. Uh, let me turn around my phone. Here we go. All right, so um, these are, well, the controls are different. Uh, they're, as I mentioned, I think during the unboxing, the uh, touch control is actually on the stem, but towards the front, like facing forward. So they're kind of awkward to uh, get to, or at least get used to. Um, I'm used to always touching at the top over here, but um, what I discovered, unfortunately, um, I think I was on maybe my eighth song on my track list, and um, it went to like a like a slow jam that I wanted to skip, and then I I did a long press on it, but what it kept on doing instead of skipping like it's supposed to, at least that's what the instruction says, um, it started cycling through the ANC and the ambient noise. So I don't know why. Um, and then obviously, you know, the left is supposed to go back, um, but it doesn't do that either. It also cycles through the um, ANC and the... Uh, ambient noise 
Um, I will say that the <laughs> active noise canceling on this is very, very good. Um, not as good as uh, some of the over-ear headphones that I tried um, previously, um, but still quite good for earbuds. Um, and then the ambient noise, uh, which allows for you to hear uh, what's going on around you uh, as you're listening to music or on a phone call, that was actually good as well. Um, Sound quality is quite good, I have to say, um, but not being able to skip songs or even like increase and decrease the volume, that was <laughs> very frustrating. Um, so I actually like, you know, I was on this run for about, I would say like, 15 20 minutes and then uh when i couldn't figure out how to skip songs um i came back to my car and dejected really um because yeah i want to enjoy this run <laughs> but unfortunately these things uh just weren't cooperating so i'm actually gonna go home reset it and see, uh, read the instructions again, just to see if I'm doing the uh, controls properly. Um, and yeah, so yeah, there you have it, folks. Um, the audio test for the Bassius CMU S1. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna go home. I, I wish I brought another uh, set of earbuds to uh, continue my run, but unfortunately I did not. Uh, but yeah. All right, give me a moment, folks. I'll be right back. All right, folks, it's post warm time for the Basius Simu S1. And unfortunately, it's going to be a pass for me. And I say unfortunately because I actually like the sound quality and some of the features on this. So, um, sound quality was very well balanced in my opinion. Um, Listen to a bunch of different genres uh, and different quality tracks and everything was coming through nice and clear. Not audiophile clear but pretty good enough for you to go on a run and enjoy your music. Um, the active noise cancelling and the ambient noise uh, features were really really good. Um, it definitely dampened uh, a lot of the ambient sound when I had the active noise cancelling on and having the ambient noise on allowed enough of the surrounding uh, sounds around me uh, to filter in and I hear what's going on around me. Um, as you saw in the audio test, I was fading in and out uh, uh, on some occasions uh, whenever you know, a truck was passing by behind me or any sort of loud noise, that's when um, my voice would be dampened. Uh, and I think that's because I had the active noise cancelling on and it was struggling to mute the exterior sounds and as well as keep my voice at the forefront. Um, so it just muted me uh, a bit, very noticeably, but uh, I, I, I was still coming through just fine. You're still uh, understandable. Um, but I think that that was the only real issue that I noticed. Um, didn't have any disconnects or anything like that. I even called a friend of mine afterwards, um, actually yesterday, and we had a short conversation and she said I was coming through just fine. Um, so yeah, it seems like a decent earbud. Uh, but unfortunately, the lack of controls really soured me towards this. Um, so I actually got in contact with Amazon customer service, because uh, that's where I bought these from, and uh, they put me in touch with Basius, and then via email, Basius sent me um, the usual, can you reset it, reconnect it to your phone, blah, blah, blah. I already told them that I did it. 
um, and nothing happened. I even tried it on another device. I just tried it on both my Samsung S21 Ultra and my Google Pixel 3 and still same issue. Um, so then they sent an email back to me saying that they've spoken with their development team and they actually said that that function is not available on the Simu S1. And I said that can't be true because it's on your manual. So then they asked me to send them a picture of the manual, which I did. And their response was to send me another manual. And this time with um, the instructions showing different functions for these. Um, so they were actually curious as to how I got that other manual. I told them it was a brand new product, I purchased it through Amazon. Um, these were the instructions that were included. <laughs> so I thought maybe they had an updated version, that's why it says so uh, that those functions were available on the manual, but I, it was still just one of their older versions uh, that they sent me. At least that was my thought process and unfortunately they told me that these are not supposed to have those functions whatsoever so it's kind of odd that they would print a manual with the wrong um, instructions and send it out with their brand new products so yeah um, very odd and then I asked them if um, actually in the process of me asking if there's an updated version uh, if they could just send me a replacement I'd be happy with that and they told me that unfortunately the product is out of stock. They do not have an updated version and um, they couldn't send me a replacement. So they suggested I just return it. So I'm gonna follow through with that and just return this guy, um, save myself 80 bucks. Cause that's how much this thing cost me. Um, on Amazon, uh, it was $79.99 Canadian. Um, no coupon, no nothing, uh, that is their regular price, so yeah. Anyhow, thank you so much for watching, I obviously have more products on the way, hopefully the next uh, set of headphones or earbuds that I test out is more positive, <laughs> so I'm, I'm looking forward to that. Um, also, I just want to reiterate, uh, my giveaway is still ongoing. Um, for every 100 subscribers that I get on my channel, I will be sending one lucky person uh, a gift. Um, more on that shortly. I will post that up soon. So thank you so much once again. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Bye for now.